Hey guys, this is Mike Glover. Uh, today we're going to do a tutorial on um, the steps involved in receiving a remote session uh, for support. Uh, most commonly a uh, driver install, but uh, um, this uh, precludes that we've uh, scheduled it by a, a phone, email, or text, and uh, that you will be attempting to connect to me at a specific time. And uh, so now we're going to walk through the steps. There are three resources to um, uh, initiate the uh, remote uh, session executable. Uh, if you've got the software installed, downloaded and installed, but the driver not, uh, not installed, you can um, go to the uh, Calit folder, or um, in some instances, you can do a search. Let's tweak a remote support, and you can run it like that, double clicking on this link to initiate the connection. Or if you've got the software and driver installed um, in CalEdit, you can just go to the uh, Utilities tab and click on Remote Session here, and it will um, start the uh, executable. <clears throat> If you can't even get that far, if you can't get the software downloaded from our website, there is, um, on our download page, there's also uh, the Tweaker uh, Support EXE that you can download directly and run. Um, uh, but uh, that that's the most important first step, is having access to the executable. Um, you can also go to um, All Apps and Cal Edit and remote support again if you have the software successfully installed. Um, uh, if you don't have a network connection or if your Wi-Fi is weak and uh, dropping in and out you'll get this error. So you need to check your connection and make sure that it's good and solid. Um, uh, beyond that, the next step will be to actually make the connection. Okay, so once uh, you've got uh, the Tweaker Remote Support EXE running and are ready, uh, and we're at a scheduled time, I will have my uh, server running here waiting for your connection. And you double click here, and it will initiate and kick up. And this is what I see your desktop remotely. A little bit limited on colors, but um, I have most control. There are some things uh, at ad administrator level that if I initiate um, some uh, uh, command, like either copying an update or something like that, you may end up with a, a dialog box, uh, you know, needing... Um, um, higher privileges uh, it's not the actual terminology I can't think of it right now um, but that will require that you uh, either uh, accept and, and uh, allow it or um, type in a, a password in some instances but that's pretty rare uh, but it'll basically give me the ability to uh, see what you're seeing Over there. So if we uh, swap in, in between them, it's a little slow. And here's your desktop, and this is what I'm seeing here. Uh, and then whatever I do here will be effectual over here. During the remote session, sometimes I may be on the phone with you, but most of the time uh, I will just um, open a chat um, window where we can uh, chat back and forth. And what I type here, you'll see here, and vice versa. Um, when I'm done, it'll, it'll close out. And then 
when we're done with the session completely, I'll just disconnect uh, using this and you'll be on your own. So, uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward and uh, only takes uh, uh, a minute and, uh, for most things as long as your Wi-Fi is uh, uh, solid or if you're you know, on a wired network, even better. Um, but um, uh, the options are Wi-Fi, uh, hardwired, or if you have a cell phone that can tether to your laptop and provide internet service, then uh, all of those will allow me to um, uh, have control and do remote tuning, uh, remote um, support, diagnostics on um, the equipment, um, um, any, any other applicable items that, that may come along.